Altuve dives, throws off balance. Altuve with a drive to left field, and there's a walk off homer. Right back to the ground. He's going to go to second for one, to first, double play. Here's a 3-2. Ball up in the air to right. Do you believe it? Two grand slams in the inning. Clevenger and Rival. And the Orioles have a 14-6 lead. Doesn't get much better than this. Afternoon baseball from Wrigley Field in Chicago. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Chicago Cubs. Should see some great battles out of these two next on the show. Jake Arrieta is on the mound for the Cubs in this one. What do you have for us on him, EK? Well, guys. He's got a career ERA under four. For a starting pitcher, that is very dependable. They're just looking for a consistent start here in this one. Troy Tulowitzki makes his way to the plate, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. For Toronto, shortstop, number two. Hit to third. Bryant is up with it. One away. Not exactly. Third Stepping in, Josh, Josh Donaldson. He'll Donaldson. get to take his first cuts here. Arietta gets the sign. Here's the first pitch. Big curveball swung on and missed 0 and 1. 
first curveball of the day for him and likely not the last. No, he's got a good one. There's no doubt about that. He'll start it on the hip versus righties, and he'll backdoor it to lefties. Two different locations, but equally effective. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Schwarber has a beat on it, two gone. And with a quick breather here, let's take a look at the Cubs alignment on defense. It's brought to us by Majestic. Any thoughts, Eric? Well, guys, the last place you want to hit the ball against this team, right field. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. Marcus Stroman, a right-hander from the Empire State, gets the starting assignment here. Eric, any thoughts? Well, remember, guys, he's a young pitcher, still garnering a lot of experience, and he has a lot of upside. If he continues to improve, he's going to be around this league for a very long time. I can't wait to watch him in this one. Oh, and he misses it. He's around third, not done yet. And he is in there. Into the box now, Ben Zobris. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. And you know, guys, he's not quite as successful when he's batting left-handed in general. He tends to have more success from the other side. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. And now time to check how Joe Madden has lined the Cubbies up in this one. Who stands out to you, E.K.? Yeah, you know, you have to be careful with Daddy Long Legs himself, Dexter Fowler. He does a lot of Come things on. right at One the straight. plate. He takes the simple approach, and it tends to pay off. Anthony Rizzo is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Here's the 0-1. On the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. Batting four. Chris Bryant gets his first opportunity now, trying to get on base and keep this first inning alive. First pitch on its way. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball here, 0-1. Two out, nobody on. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Clyde Washington. Yeah, Matt, Clyde has a bit of a reputation for rewarding pitchers that pound the bottom of the zone. Calls the game well, but we might see some strong. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. The sights and sounds of a... Leading off the inning, Edwin Encarnacion, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And this is a guy that can make a big change in this game with one swing of the bat because you know he has big time power. Ariette is ready, 0-1 oh, on its way. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Settling in now, Russell Martin, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Zobrist is there. Throw gets him. Two down. Batting six. Left fielder. Michael Saunders, Michael Saunders into the box here in the top of the second, looking to keep this inning going. And that swung on and missed for strike one. And you know what? These days, so many guys are throwing in the high 90s. It makes those mid to low 90s guys look easy. But I'll tell you what, if he mixes his pitch as well, it can... Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Stick around, because Jason Hayward will lead things off when we come back. And there is Jason Hayward. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Into the windup and the pitch. Swung on and missed its 0-1. Top foul over towards the dugout. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Squaring with two strikes as he gets this one down. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Kyle Schwarber steps in now. 
First pitch coming, here it is. Out in front of it, strike one. Second inning here as the Cubs lead this one early 1-0. Grounded to the right. And Carnacion takes this over himself to record the put out. Batting seven. Catcher. Miguel, Miguel Montero, Montero gets his first chance here, looking to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Here's the first pitch to him. Breaking ball that's cut on and missed for the first strike. And if you're not careful, this is the kind of guy that can run off six scoreless innings against you from here out. So that first no, inning run isn't something you can bank on holding up. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Well, that's a good spot for that two-seam fastball. You know, remember, that'll run away from left-handers, so a good idea to work the outside edge. Right side. And yeah. he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. It's a great day for baseball here in Chicago as we welcome you back to baseball on the show from Wrigley Field. Kevin Pillar will stand in now to lead things off. Seven, eight, and nine here to start the third inning. And maybe one of these guys can break this string of six straight retired to start the ball game. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. Mm, chased out of the zone there, and he's down two strikes. Ah, uh, he's playing right into that big swing from a pitch before. Just throw something oh. slow here, and you'll probably have him three feet out in front. On the ground to the left side. Bryant's got it. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Second baseman. Ryan Goins stands in for the first time. Chop foul right at home plate at strike one. Arietta sets. Here he comes 0-1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Calling for it. Schwarber makes the play one away. to first and they get the double play uh, if you're going to take off you've got to be sure this ball is going to get down and I don't know to me that seemed like it was going to be a fairly routine catch so in my mind that becomes a very avoidable double play stepping in now Marcus Stroman as he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And a good effort as he's able to stick with it and get the third out of the inning. So no runs or hits here as the error turns. Jake Arrieta digs into the box in the bottom of inning number three. Jake Arrieta. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw on to first. In time, one away. Batting ninth. The shortstop, Addison. Addison Russell steps into the box. Hit hard up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. And you know, that's what they needed. It's just a one-out single. Nothing too amazing. But now at least you get that guy into the stretch and maybe